Should you buy a house? Should you buy property? Should you own property? That's the question I'm going to look at in this video. I believe from an investment perspective and from sensible use of your funds and your resources that buying an investment or buying a property rather is a good sound investment which will stand you in good stead for life. I think that there's four compelling reasons why this is the case. The first one is to do with leverage. By leverage, I mean you can buy a property in Ireland, a house, with 20% down. So 20% of your own money and the rest of it comes from the bank. The benefit then and the ratchet effect of leverage means that if the house price, if the value of the house increases by say 5% per annum, then leverage means that you're getting a 25% return on your initial investment of the 20% deposit. If you stretch that out then over 3 years, 5 years, 10 years, 15 years, you're looking at a very, very significant return on your initial investment of the 20%. Because as I say, leverage has a ratchet effect and will allow you to see a huge return on your initial investment most of the time. The vast majority of the time. I am aware, very much aware, that in 2008, 2009 there was a property crash in Ireland, but I'm taking that into account. I'm looking at the uh, performance of the Irish property market for the last 50, 60 years or so. I've looked at the data and that's it's my opinion that buying a house makes a huge amount of sense. So the first reason is uh, the leverage reason. The second reason is because a house or property generally provides a pretty good hedge against inflation. By that I mean over the last 10 years in Ireland the inflation rate has totaled for a period of 10 years 5.2%. That's according to the CSO, the Central Statistics Office. So the inflation rate has been very low in Ireland over the last 10 years, as I say, a total of 5%, and yet house prices would have increased by perhaps 5 to 10% per annum over that period of time. So there's a massive increase or a significant increase by comparison with inflation in the value of your property, and yet the uh, real value of your property has increased significantly as well. And it's not just inflation, because obviously, if the inflation rate for a period of 10 years, the last 10 years, is 5%, then only 5% of the increase in the value of your property is attributable to inflation. So generally, you will have an increase in value of property, which will generally outstrip inflation. And if that's the case, then you're going to uh, have a good hedge against inflation. The other aspect of the inflation situation and the third reason as to why buying a property is a good idea, a good investment, is because you are decreasing your debt. In other words, while your property investment is increasing in value and you're enjoying living in it, the debt owed on the property is being reduced by inflation. So if you take the 5% over the last 10 years and you start off with a mortgage payment of perhaps €1,500 Euros per month and you reduce that by 5%, then, uh, you know, to, to take account for the inflation rate over 10 years, then you're going to be paying 1,422 in real terms. In other words, take 10% inflation off and in real terms, then in 10 years or after a period of 10 years, you're actually going to be paying back uh, less money in real terms than you would have uh, been paying at the outset and which you would have borrowed. So inflation is working in your, in your favour there in the spread of the loan over the lifetime of 10, 15, 20 years. And finally, and the fourth compelling reason that I see for buying a property is the typical property owner will stay in a house for I think the average is seven years. That means there's probably going to be four or five moves over the course of a lifetime. And the typical scenario is a young couple with or without a family will buy a three bed semi or a two bed apartment and they'll start off on the bottom rung of the ladder and they will move up then after seven years, eight years perhaps as 
their finances improve and as their career prospects are enhanced and uh, the career uh, takes off and so on to move again and they might move twice or three times or indeed four times in a lifetime each time that they do that they're disposing of an asset with uh, significant capital gain and yet there's no capital gains tax because it's the principal private residence there's no capital gain on a principal private residence and therefore they're able to take two or three or four punts on selling or disposing of their property which has appreciated in value over a number of years they can sell that tax-free so they are the four reasons that i would see buying a property buying a house as a very good very sound investment hope you liked the video if you do I'd appreciate it appreciate you give it the thumbs up down below